I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a couple of little tips and tricks about how to keep your dog looking fresh at home. Uh, one of those things is to clean out around the eyes. And I know a lot of people have been asking me about this and about trimming their own dogs around their eyes and I wanted to show you so that you could actually do it yourself. Normally take some blunt, small, some small shears. These ones are thinning shears but you don't have to use thinning shears. And I go, come on, come here, good boy. I go right in between the eyes right here, just like this. I come in and I point away from the eyes, which is very important. So that way you don't risk jabbing them in the eyeballs. Now for this overhang part, what we call the visor, what you want to do, take your a small comb and brush up right in here and take your, your shears or your thinners and you come across this way because if you go in like this, you'll make big huge lines that you don't want, believe me, trust me. You want to come in and just kind of take away little bits in front of the eyes, being very careful to go away from the eyes. Just like that. Okay, so when you want to trim their nails, you want to take the dog's paw behind them and you want to push on the paw pad, lifting the nail just above, okay? And you'll see with the long nail, it'll come over top of the paw pad. Uh, it'll come about to here. So you wanna go down the nail to the paw pad, right to that level, and then bring your nail clippers up. So that way it guarantees that you will not cut the quick. So you wanna come down and then bring it up just a bit and then clip. It's okay if you are too scared and you just clip the edge, that's fine. The nails should be this short. This is about to the paw pad level and when he puts his foot down, his nails do not touch the table. That's the goal, okay? That the nails do not touch the table. But if you just trim off just the tiniest little bit off the ends, just right where it hits the table, that's fine. You don't have to trim all the way down like I will. I will take care of that when I see the pups. people ask me about is ear cleaning and what do they need for that uh, when it comes to curly coated dogs don't worry about plucking their ear hair right now leave that to the professionals okay so unless you're used to plucking the ear hair don't worry about it just pull out the cotton balls and then put a good amount so there's a couple of different ways that you can do this you can put the ear cleaner straight into the ear canal rub it, let the dog shake, and then dry it out with the cotton balls. I like to super soak my cotton balls, and so I just go ahead and soak them up so that enough of the ear cleaner gets down into the canal when I squeeze the cotton ball. So I just lift up the ear. This is not his favorite thing to do. And I just go right in there. Don't worry about if you're gonna hurt them or not. You should be fine. Do not go past the point of resistance. That's gonna be the best thing that I can tell you is don't go past the point of resistance. So then you do it on the other side. But there you go. Ears are clean. Yeah. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure to get them all brushed out. And so Using some sort of a conditioning spray. I like the Matte X by Artiro. I'm a big fan of this and you can get it on Amazon. And then you can also use a slicker brush and a fine tooth comb. This is just a soft, soft slicker. Um, this is a Chris Christensen slicker brush. And then this is a uh, Utsami. Utsami. <laughs> That's that comb. So what you want to do is make sure not to press down too hard when you're brushing out because they you can irritate the coat. And if you're brushing and you're seeing the dog's ears yank 
you don't want to do that that's going to cause a lot of pain and irritation what you want to do is to hold the hair wherever you're going to brush brush from the ends see how it's not really yanking him brush from the ends and then you can brush from the top but I still would recommend to hold on to whatever hair that you're that you're uh, brushing out so that way just in case you hit a snag it doesn't yank okay and you do, do that on both sides and then afterwards to make sure there's no knots you want to brush through with your fine tooth comb no knots how handsome uh, private parts. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you are very careful in this area. Just imagine. Uh, ow. Uh, so make sure not to nick anything, but I'm using a 10 blade here. You don't want to use scissors around this area because just imagine if they sit down when you're right here trimming. Yeah, that's not a good thing. So what you're going to use is a 10 blade and make sure your clippers are nice and cool because you don't want a hot blade. If you're using a hot blade, you can burn them and that would be painful. So what you want to do, take your, take your clippers and go up very carefully and then go over and then on the other side. So I will show you what I'm doing. I went up, over, and then over on the other side. And so, that's right on that hole. You know what hole I'm talking about. So up, over, over. And then what you can do too is if there's a tuft right here, you can go one down, down. So then you got a nice clean bootay right there. So you don't have to actually worry about um, the dog's potty area getting messed up with some dingleberries. The other thing is around you know, his uh, willy area. So what I normally do is I kind of pull the area down so that I get visual on it. And then I just take my clippers and I just go into it just very carefully and then around it very carefully. Being very, very sure that I'm not nicking anything that's down here or down here. Well, or anywhere really. The female, you wanna pick up, you wanna pick up her leg and then come in here and very lightly trim in here, right underneath where her private area would be. If you don't get it perfect, that's okay. That's what I'm here for, okay? What you're just trying to do is get through. Okay guys, well, I hope that helped and I hope to be grooming your pups here very soon. All right, I'll talk to you later guys. Bye.